Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Virgo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Virgo, I'm doing your reading with a blend of decks. You'll see a mix of several in your spread today. So we've got the Hermit on the split. Feels like you have a lot on your mind, Virgo. And the Magician at the bottom of the deck, thinking about what it is that you're wanting to bring together or what is needed it feels like you've got a lot of consideration here actually about what's needed to bring together the thing that you're wanting to experience. So you could be like really pulling yourself out of a lot of other commitments perhaps, like putting everything else on hold. So what I'm seeing here with the three of pentacles and the hangman underneath those two energies is like all the other work or all the other responsibilities are on hold. You got the magician and the sun underneath that. Talking about putting all of your attention, all of your focus, all of your energy towards this incoming thing. And then you got the high priestess and the hierophant. There's a lot of big energies here. A lot of big energies. It feels like that's kind of what you're sorting through. It's like you have to get past this layer. This like, you know, putting everything aside. Maybe considering it's like a, a sorting and sifting. What needs to be put on hold in order to get to those deeper levels. Okay, we're doing the um, Lefruma Healing Oracle today for the overall energies. I just feel like this deck is just packed full of really big stuff, right? So your reading felt like it needed some Lefruma today. Okay, overall energy for Virgo. Cosmic Ocean, see, there you go. This cosmic ocean is it's like this. It looks like this big number one here that I'm noticing. This cosmic ocean is making me think of, and the one is talking about the magician. And then in the reading the other day, it was talking about the, the go first magician. Was that what I was calling it? It was like the magician that was leading the pack in a sense. It was like um, the one stepping forth and demonstrating their abilities before the group or before the class, right? Like being the first one up. So that's interesting. There might be something about that there. You may be leading the way for some people. It could be the reason why you're taking so much time and deliberation and getting this prepared. It impacts a lot of other people, but also this is connecting for me today for um, this seven of cups here that's actually right beside it. Maybe because there's, are there seven orbs? There's like seven steps on the path here. It's like seven things to consider. Or, you know, it's the same, it's connecting it, right? So it's like each of these, there's there's things that need to be considered one at a time in order to really cross this threshold point or bridge from one phase to the next. With the Hanged Muse coming up first, your first card on the table, maybe there's almost like this desire to kind of leapfrog over this entire process. But at the same time, What's that? I feel like I saw the tough love guy, but maybe maybe that was on the pre-shuffle. I was like, where did she go? She's not even here. But I feel like she wants to say to you, you don't want to bypass this actually because it's the cosmic ocean. It's one of those like the journey is, it's the journey, not the destination. I feel like is what she would say if she was here. But you've, okay, so you've got this hangman actually at the beginning of your, your reading and it was talking about interestingly that the three of pentacles and the hanged one here came up because this was feeling to me like you are almost being stopped mid-flight, right? It's like you're actually in the middle of something quite significant or something like really meaningful or uh, really difficult to accomplish in the middle of a difficult accomplishment or it's like you've been you've been working diligently in a particular way or towards a particular goal for some time and then the four of swords which almost looks like it could be a stumble right because that's been coming up in the last couple of readings but for you it's not it's actually it feels like a deliberate a deliberate halt to the action could be actually right before kind of like a peak moment maybe or feeling it's like feeling like a phase change is approaching and almost like calling it off right before 
because you're switching, it's almost like you're changing channels because you're catching wind of, you're starting to have a feeling for this 10 of cups. Maybe it's something like you've realized that the mo the motion or the momentum that you were taking, the path that you were on was not necessarily going to lead to this 10 of cups that you had anticipated perhaps because it feels like this is your goal right this is where you're aiming for but you've put this four of swords between you and it almost as if there's something not quite right about it see what i mean it's like you're getting really close to closing that gap and then you're putting a hold on all of it but it could also be because you've got this other thing that you're beginning to consider it's like you've you've you're, you've reached the edge of the cosmic ocean and now you're reconsidering your steps. The Two of Pentacles coming next. Everything is surrounding this Ten of Cups at the center. This Ten of Cups particularly is, is always talking to me about, I mean, it kind of brings in like the Butterfly Collective. It is still kind of in the abstract though. That's the thing. Maybe that's what we're, doing here with all this four of swords and the two of pentacles it's like all this deliberation and weighing and sorting and sifting and all this consideration around this ten of cups because it's still taking form and it involves a lot of other people perhaps right did i say that already that your work may be other people are really either involved or dependent upon maybe are leaning on you or just like really invested it feels like all of these ones want to be involved it's uh, okay the reference to the dragonfly collective is talking about it's actually like a group project which is interesting because you're sitting over here in this hermit energy i mean maybe with the hermit and the three of pentacles together it could be that you're really reconsidering like who it is that you want to create this with right Maybe there was this one here. She's not the tough love guide, but she is this high priestess that comes in with a bit of caution, right? Caution about maybe manifesting with this group. Maybe. But with the hermit here, I mean, it's really focused on you and your participation or your perspective. There is this emperor here on the table that seems to be about to join you in this venture. And it could be that that's what it's got you kind of all stirred up about this, right? It's like you were, like I said, kind of mid-flight. Maybe some news reached you or maybe it's this intuitive vibe, right? Coming from that high priestess up through the levels, penetrating right through the project that you're working on or the thing that you're focused on and kind of giving you this heads up that the that the emperor is about to make his move, right? Because this card, was it in the Leo reading? It's like the emperor was in the distance watching before making his move. I think he made his move in the extended. But he was wisely watching from a distance. So maybe he's watching you attempt this before he knows what exactly his stance is going to be but it's kind of got you in this state where it's like okay everything needs to be put on hold because i gotta figure out with the temperance card here almost like how to present yourself because this card is like a radical makeover card it's like you're considering what needs to be done is it really focused on your appearance maybe i mean the temperance has so much more depth to it than appearances, right? But it's definitely considering how it is that you are perceived, especially with the emperor coming out right beneath that. It's like maybe you caught wind of the fact that they've got their eye on you, right? Especially if you're kind of like making a big spectacle. It's like you're going for it, you're doing something big, right? Because this is accomplishing like a feat that is quite difficult and spectacular even though you seem to be kind of calling it off before it gets completely actualized could be that it's like you just became too hyper conscious of the attention that is on you at least from this particular one but it's got this like how am I perceived and is there anything that needs to be adjusted in that there's a lot you're considering and it's all, like I said, it's all surrounding this Ten of Cups at the center. Maybe it has a lot to do with 
who you're going to invite into that experience with you. Is the emperor on the table? I want to say the emperor seems to be the big deal, right? Because it's kind of got you really almost self-conscious and questioning yourself. Like looking in the mirror and saying, okay, are there any changes that need to be made? Because this is a big deal with the Wheel of Fortune coming next. It's like this could change everything. This could change everything, the Wheel of Fortune. But that's just a consideration. That's not a certainty. That's a belief that you have. It's, it's a, enough of a concern or hope, perhaps, a hope that things are about to shift in a big way towards this Ten of Cups here, that it's, it's enough that it's making you kind of halt or put this on hold and reconsider every, every element that is involved here. Every element that is involved in like how you present your work or yourself. Okay, so with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups coming up next, it's just tying into this cosmic ocean here. Maybe what's bringing you to this point, it's kind of like I'm seeing this temperance standing, standing at the edge of this cosmic ocean and thinking like, what, what needs to be done here? Because with the Seven of Cups, it's talking about considering all of the elements it's not necessarily considering like what to include and what not to include, although maybe that's part of it as well. I mean, you're going from the seven to the nine, so I almost feel like maybe you're actually adding some, it's not that anything needs to go, it needs, it needs something more. It's like it's not, it wasn't quite enough. Or you're, con you're concerned about whether, it's like whether you have enough momentum to truly get to where it is that you were aiming for, right? Maybe this four of swords is just some sort of a, a, like a dip in your energy it's like it's like all this rocket fuel gets you only so far and then no farther and not quite reaching the ten of cups but there's kind of like news in the air that the emperor maybe coming in with something Maybe, I mean, because they're here, the Emperor and the Four of Cups. It's almost as if they kind of like caught wind of what you were doing. Or it kind of like tuned into the same channel. Was I talking about you, you changed the channel to this Ten of Cups. So when you change the channel to this Ten of Cups, when you shift your focus to this, Because it does feel separate. It's not completely that whatever this is, you were trying to get to the Ten of Cups, although it's definitely kind of in that realm, but it's not exactly it. It's not, it could almost be something like when you were doing whatever this was, when you were engaged in whatever project or experience this was, it kind of tapped you in, like it gave you access to, and that could be the coming up to the edge of the cosmic ocean here. It's like you've put yourself right at the edge of the cosmic ocean, where you're starting to really kind of tap into these more um, like pure potentials, these abstract energies that are looking for a channel. Do you see what I mean? And it's like once you touched it and you begin to think about what you can do with it, it's almost like being given like a full palette and beginning to imagine what you can, you can paint with it, for example, right? So it's like it's just beginning to take form in your mind. That's the reason why you're taking some time out or if you're not like literally stopping everything else, it's just like in any spare moment, this is what you're thinking about. This is what you're invested in. This Ten of Cups. Sorry for the truck outside. So with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups here, it was looking to me like kind of like considering each option and realizing that all of it is beneficial, right? It's like saying yes to every element. If that makes any sense? So if there's all these things that you need to consider, or maybe it's, like I said, maybe it's even people, right? Who you want to invite to be in this crew or in this group. It's like everyone that you touch is a yes. 
that's what it's looking like, right? It's like, it's like it, they're all being added to this nine of cups. Perhaps it's like these seven or these ones that are a particular group or have some sort of an identity. And then you're adding the two elements, which could be you and this emperor perhaps, right? Because there's nine here. And then there's this interesting interaction here with the ace of wands and the tower. So the Ace of Wands, this Ace of Wands is my Kramer energy, right? It's like this bursting in with excitement, having a big message to share or, or an idea to propose, meeting with the Tower. And that feels like this is the Emperor kind of finally making his move. I don't think I finished this thought. Did I even, did I pick up these cards already? I feel like I did. The Emperor and the Four of Cups, it's like he's really been kind of taking a back seat, like being in this passive role while he takes in all of the... This was in an extended the other day where the Four of Cups was looking at the Queen of Pentacles. It's interesting, it's almost as if he's looking at himself being like unimpressed, which is really fascinating because it's coming out right beneath this Temperance card, which has a kind of a similar energy, right? It's like the self-consciousness. It's like he's looking at his own estate. He's looking at his own situation, his own manifestation, and he's, He's really unsatisfied with it. And with the Seven of Pentacles coming next, it's like this trial and error, right? That was, didn't he come up with that card the other day? This emperor, this, I think he was even this particular emperor who seems to be kind of taking it wisely, taking a step back. Maybe in between attempts, which is really interesting because it's a, it's a real match to this hanged muse that you have. It's like taking a taking a go at having a go at something, but then backtracking. But here you are coming together. It could be the reason why it feels like both of you are taking ser really seriously the preparations for this meeting, for this conversation. So it feels like you have some sort of forewarning, I think, about this emperor coming to you it's almost like he's going to say, I've tried this, I've, I've experimented with this, or I've, I've, I've been working on this problem for some time and I can't quite get there. I can't quite get to the place that I'm aiming for. And it's like, oh, it's almost like I see you're, you're, you're in the same position in a sense, or you know what I mean? There's something, there's something that he's coming to you with. And it feels like with that seven of pentacles, it's really unconventional. Well, this is interesting. It's unconventional. Almost talking about like undoing, undoing the convention. Because this is almost like a backtracking or a back engineering card. It's like a backtracking. He's taking a back seat. He's stepping back. Maybe he wants to undo his investments. He wants to undo or untangle his investments. But there's something really unconventional about it anti-conventional it could be the it could be the way that he's approaching you i mean maybe he's coming in with the kramer energy but this does kind of feel like a meeting right but perhaps it's his energy kind of bursting in and it's causing this tower but it feels like the tower is on his side and it and it also feels like that's the reason why he's really kind of hesitant to advance here or come towards you is because he basically knows that the moment that this door opens to your realm in a sense it's almost like the only the only option he hasn't yet explored there's been a lot in the readings about kind of like um testing hypotheses which is almost like testing like timelines right but maybe actually following through with the actions and seeing how it literally plays out before you kind of backtrack and try the next so it's almost as if, I mean, because you've both got these sevens, like you're, you've, you're considering your options and you're, you're seeing value in saying yes to all of them, but it's like, he's going through a similar process, but he's, I want to say he's saying no to most things. And that this here is the, the last attempt in a sense. So it's the reason why he's really kind of pausing before he steps forward because it's going to trigger a tower but like i said it's on his side it's something like this 
This emperor approaches you either acknowledging your work or identifying the same goal. It's like, okay, we've, we've been through a similar process. We've come to a similar position where we're ready to move towards this 10 of cups, whatever that means. But if we agree to attempt this, or if we agree to manifest this, there was two magicians there at the beginning, right? Um, it means that I need to like deconstruct everything. That's why the tower is on his side of the equation. Like I said, it's the reason why he's wisely stalling in a sense or waiting, like wisely waiting, maybe for a signal from you that you're ready, right? Maybe waiting for you to get past this nervousness and more into this like confidence and feeling like whatever, feeling like you've, you've, you've got it and you know, you know it and you are in agreement or you will be in agreement like this, uh, warm welcome, right? He's wanting a warm welcome when he comes through that door because he knows that it's the beginning of the deconstruction of his situation. Maybe it has something to do with a move like he's gonna have to move because I'm suddenly in, like I'm like because I'm considering what is it that needs to be deconstructed and I'm looking at all, all his pyramids there in the background right it's like dis dissembling is that the right word so they can be advanced deconstruction before advancement but he's prepared by the time he reaches you he's prepared but it's unconventional, especially this being the last card on the table. It's really emphasizing this unconventionality. It's like maybe like because he's coming through this way, right? It's like Kramer is a really strange character. So that could be your first response or reaction to this approach is this is not what I ex was expecting. This is really unconventional. I mean, maybe that would be very welcomed by you, but it's like maybe because it's like a uh, hello, let's, let's do this. My life is falling apart. Like in the next breath. I don't, I'm not sure. But I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extend and see what else wants to come out about this. But okay. But I feel, I do feel like by the time the emperor reaches you, you're really confident. It's like, you've already gone through this entire process. You've considered all of these aspects and you're completely certain. So even if they come in like really, in a way that could maybe trigger some discomfort in you because it's like it's like your first thought upon meeting this individual is like, I don't know if I can take this on, it's too unusual or this individual is too unusual or the situation, whatever it is, it's very unconventional. Basically saying like, it's not what I expected or however it is that, however it is that you want to think about it, but I feel like you're really confident. So basically it's just, it's, it's not what you're expecting. It's like, you've done all of this preparation, you know, exactly what it is that you want. And then this one comes in and it's like, Oh, but I didn't know if, if that's what I wanted. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next time Virgo. Thanks. Bye.